All right, back in the Stan Sheriff Center, Hawaii taking the first set 25-21. And what do you say we check our Jack Fact on this Thursday night? And you see some of the fresh faces during last week's series versus UC San Diego. Six Hawaii players saw their very first NCAA action. Four Warriors got their first ever starts in the D1 level. Charlie Wade is quick to point out that there are some teams that don't even have that many newcomers on their entire roster. Yeah, this is a very young, it shows how young this team is. And people got to remember that. This, it's going to take a while for this team to, to really uh, grow and develop and transform and evolve. It just takes time, and it, you can't put a price tag on experience. But how about the signees they got or the, the, the commitments they got verbally this past this weekend? Week. Wow, Absolutely. Charlie was really excited when I saw him on yesterday. He said, you know, it was a bummer to lose to San Diego last week, but you know what? It was so cool to get that sign by the, <laughs> yeah. the kid Marks, uh, no, Mars, uh, from Canada, who is, Charlie says, the real deal. Yeah, and he was hosted by a couple of Canadian players, including this guy right here, Stephen Hunt, who comes to Hawaii via Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And uh, boy, he showed some. That was his most spectacular, an inside two set. Hunt with five kills, only one error, 15 tries, hitting 267. He'd like that number to be up around 300, though. He told me that's one of his goals for the year, is to be more of a consistent outside hitter who reduces his error. So there's only one error there. But you see, he's got a lot of zeros. It means he, he had 15 attempts there, but there were a lot of balls that were dug by Springfield. So he'd like to have that percentage up closer to 300. And very quickly, we talked about golf. Your son, Parker McLaughlin, I was out there with you. I know he got to minus two a couple of times today, and he finished at? Finished at plus one. All right. So well, he's right. I think that's what the cut line is going to be. So he's got to probably have a pretty good morning uh, tomorrow morning at 8.30. Tees off. And... We'll see. All right. Well, a few players have probably played that course as many times as Parker he, has. Yeah, he's so. played a few times. Been a, a cart barn boy down there, and he's uh, washed windows, raised the flag, yeah. take the flag down, fold it, put it away, fold shirts in the shop. He's got a. He's kind of done a little bit of everything. Well, he's paid his dues, and he got that sponsor's exemption. So congratulations to you, to him. It was fun walking around with you a couple of. Uh, yeah, hours was, out there. I looked over. I said, hey, fun. partner, don't you have to work tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and I said to you, don't you have to work too? Exactly. You were a little bit later in getting here than I was, but for good reason. It's I'm um, glad you were able to watch him finish 18. Best of luck tomorrow. Back here at the Stan Sheriff Center and serving to get things underway. And set number two is J.P. Marks, who promptly hits it long. As long as we're talking about about uh, relatives, we got to give some props out, I think, to Jim Leahy, who I sat next to 25 years. I sat next to him doing men's volleyball, and I'd like to say hi to him tonight, and uh, hope he's doing well. And he'll be calling women's basketball, and he'll have... Lori Santee alongside him. But yep. Yeah, you and I were talking about Jim last week. I'm, I'm very humbled to be sitting in this chair, and as I talk <laughs> and my words come out of my mouth, I think to myself, oh... If Jim's watching, what, what does he say? What, would he approve of that? Oh, be, was that okay? <laughs> was that bad? What would he say? Uh, I need to work on my Hawaii wins. <laughs> there you go. You just practiced right there. there That's you fine. Go. All right. Well, aloha to you, Jim. Good pass by Castillo. Took it with his hands that time. That was pretty nice. And once again, Stephen Hunt getting that good high set and hammering it down just inside the line. Nick Castillo usually taking the ball with his forearms. That time took it with his hands and puts him a perfect pass. And Hunt's got that line shot. I think he took it because he, it was a lot of it was given by Tyler Tanaka that time. They keep thinking Hunt is only a cross-court hitter. And Angel hammers that one. J.P. Mark saves it. And... Hunt underhanding it over. Weird set at the net. Lopi gets his hands on it and then saved by the player from Springfield. Good hustle there and Hunt again. Trying to just drop it down to the Terraflex. Angel off the block and out. And that's a point. And once again, Angel Perez getting the kill. That's his third. There's the pancake save by the libero, Nick Perry. Kept it alive, and then Perez at the end, just a little tool job off Timmer. Stephen Hunt, and that time, just banging it down in front of Jimmy O'Leary. 
I mean, when Stephen Hunt gets hot, there's not many people on the outside this year in Division One men's volleyball that can be as good. Because he, he really brings major heat. And he hits the ball high. He had 21 kills in those first two matches of the season and 45 attempts, as you said, hit just over 300, 311. Angel again, and he's blocked, and that time it's the center, Sam Descaro, who gets up high and puts it back down at him. Descaro brings a different presence at the net for Hawaii this year. With all due respect to Nate Zimliak, Descaro is a big kid up there. He's 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and he, he reaches way over, as you saw then, and really penetrates well. And to think that Hawaii will have him for three full seasons. He's only a sophomore. And there is another block. This time it is Nick West. So first lead change as Hawaii takes the advantage. Four to three. Nick West out of UC Irvine. Transferred over here to Hawaii and is very happy with his move so far. He loved playing in Stan Sheriff Center last weekend. Can't wait to get many, many more matches. And boy, he is fun too. He's uh, got a great sense of humor. Keeps the guys loose. And he's an excellent blocker to boot. And one of the newcomers out of Auckland, New Zealand. Back to serve it up, Johan Timmer. Looking for Angel Perez. And back the other way, Marks hammers it down at Nick Ferry, who can't control it. Point to Hawaii. Say Hawaii is really versatile in the fact that they're going to a lot of different guys, and they go to Marks out of the back row because that time Hunt had to come all the way over and get that soft off-speed shot. He was not in a position to hit at all. In the middle attack, they were, had both blockers going up, so the only place to go was the back row attacker, Marks. That time, just kind of hanging up there and waiting and waiting and waiting was Falcone. And he almost seemed to defy gravity for a moment there and just waited for that ball to come right into the perfect spot before he puts it down. And back within one comes Springfield. Falcone's a big dude, I'm telling you. He's a... Covers his head up on every serve. Well, someone must have served it into the back of his head a few times. Because he always puts his hands up over there and hut off the block. But we'll take a look at that next time. Springfield, anybody serving, and he's in the front row. He just kind of puts his hands over his head. He's probably taken a couple off the noggin over the years. Let's get ready, Tyler. We're setting you. Mike, good job, Mike. Stephen Hunt with a powerful serve, but long. Sixth service error tonight for Hawaii. First night, Hunt went with his jump serve. Second night against San Diego with his jump float. Tonight, he's working more on his jump serve. Worked on it during the week, and it looked good. So um, his first error of the night, though, I believe. Angel Perez back to serve it for the pride. Timmer off the block. Tanaka with the pass, and then the overpass put down Biscaro. Nice job by Nick Ferry to keep it alive. Another joust at the net, and this time that joust is going to be won by Greg Falcone. I mean, Hawaii had every chance to win this point, but Springfield playing so well, putting the ball up close to the net, getting the little fast dig there, putting this ball up close to the net for the joust for Falcone, winning the battle against round number one against Nick West. Couple of big guys up there, Falcone 6'8", and West right there with him, and West getting the kill, putting it down in front of a diving Tyler Tanaka. So West will go back to serve, Hawaii seven serving six. Well, the first set was tied at 10-10, 11-11, and 12-12 before Hawaii finally got a little bit of breathing room and went on to win at 25-21. And that serve is also long. Service error number seven. And the third tie of the second set. And Falcone out of Lindenhurst, New York. And he serves it into the net. So back-to-back -back service errors. And Sam Biscaro will go back for Hawaii. Watch me, watch me, 
Talk about Biscaro and the fact that he brings a whole dimension to the game over Nate Zemiak and three consecutive service errors, but to have him around knowing he's only a sophomore, that's kind of nice to know for Hawaii. Yeah, he's going to be a good one. He's, he's a lot more touches, more reps. He's a play a lot more in the summer. Becker with the serve. He serves it out, and that is four consecutive service errors. This kind of takes us back to UC San Diego. All over again. <laughs> Absolutely. Somebody, anybody looking to get into a rhythm. And Marks serves it in. Tanaka off the block and down. Local boy makes good on that shot. I'm telling you, he got up there. Set was well placed. Tyler gets way up, goes high hands, gets the kill. Stephen Hunt, oh boy, he takes it right off the chest of Angel Perez. Thing went a mile high, and this time just kind of jamming it straight down. So the hard swing becomes a chest bump, and the easy one proves to be the winner. Watch Stephen Hunt as he goes up, turns in the air, twists and turns, hits Angel Perez, who's, who's down inside the three-meter line, out about the four-foot line. What a shot. Tanaka again. And Tanaka. Off the block and out. So we've seen that battle a couple of times tonight. Stephen Hunt goes up, gets right there all over it, but misses just barely. He thought it was in. It was chest out. And Tyler Tanaka holding his own. Back to serve is O'Leary. And Nick West didn't get a lot on it, but enough. There's the other difference of a 6'4", 6'5", setter is he intercepts a lot of balls that look like they're going to be overpasses, just like then with, with the, that ball was almost going to go over the net. He intercepts it, sets the middle to West, and they get a kill. I think with Zemliak or a smaller setter, that ball might be over the net, an uh, overpass kill for the other team. And Johan Timmer. With another service error. Hawaii now with a total of eight service errors. Make that nine, excuse me. And right back it goes. Even for the fans, it's kind of Hard to get into that rhythm of even cheering when you get all these service errors. But Hunt stops that. Off the block. Nice job by Timmer to keep it alive. And Hunt just forced to two-hand it over the net. Not a good set for Angel, but manages to get it to go down inside Nick West. Kind of a set that was behind his head, but he got just enough on it to get the kill. Well, it's 6-1. Angel Perez obviously in a mismatch every time he goes across the front row, but he's pretty resourceful. Right now he's got four kills, and he's got four errors to go along with it. <laughs> J.P. Marks. Well, you got the bookends of, of J.P. Marks and Stephen Hunt. I'll tell you, miles per hour, those two probably hit it as hard as anybody in the league. You know, and Nick West gets his swings, and Lofi can put it down. And I tell you what, Hawaii, we've talked about this. They have the parts. They have the players. They have the athleticism, and they have the opportunity to really spread it around. Nick and West, West. service error number three. Those are starting to mount. The Scarl's got three, I think, and West has three. And as a team, Hawaii now with no aces and 10 service errors. In fact, neither team with an ace serve tonight. And J.P. Marks off the block, and it goes out. And so Marks with the kill. And J.P. now with 10. Stephen Hunt with a match high nine.
Jay Peters with a little extended look after that one. That one was off the block, and Marks just got a fingertip on it and deflected it out there at about a 45-degree angle sideways. And we're tied at 14, 10th tie of the second set. Nice swing by John Cohen, new player into the game from Chicago, Illinois, 6'4", junior. He's now in, he's playing actually for um, Tyler Tanaka. Look, Tyler was playing pretty well. He's got four kills, one air, hitting 333. But apparently they want, I guess, a little bigger size going across the front here. Good pass by Marks Lofi. Again, doesn't get a lot on it, but manages to put it down. We reach the 15 mark, and we're going to take a timeout. Hawaii up by one in set number two. They lead it, one set to none, and in a battle here against Springfield. Find the perfect gift for any occasion at Big Island Candies. Click on BigIslandCandies.com to view their entire collection and place your order today. Back in the stand, Sheriff Center, coaches Wade and Hall, and Coach Charlie Wade's family, his three sons, my three sons. <laughs> Come on, Angel. Come on, Angel. So, uh, Jeff Hall and Charlie Wade talking to you, I tell you something, they can't be talking about their offense because their offense is clicking right now, siding out at 85%. And there is their first ace serve of the night. Uh, There's the yeah. ace towels coming up from Auntie Alice. Finally had an opportunity to hold it up. As JP gets the first notch in the ace column. Hawaii up 16-14. Another good serve. Putting it up. Hunt with the block. Cross court nearly dug up in the back by Marks, but unable to get there. And John Cohen. Gets his first kill. He's just been recently inserted into this match. Yeah, I think he's in there, you know, for Tyler Tanaka for size reasons only. But they, I think they want to put up just a little bit bigger block at the net and see what happens. But I thought Tyler played pretty well. Um, hitting 333. He had four digs. Get in on the block. And Hunt with a little delay. And what happened was he had that little soft little off-speed shot. They tried to uh, block it down. O'Leary did, and he caught the cable on the way down. Pretty smart shot, actually, by, by uh, Stephen Hunt. A little risky because it could come straight down, but you also can have a lot of middle blockers will reach over and hit the cable there and cause the violation. So back to serve for Hawaii will be Brooks Sador. A 6'5 freshman out of Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada. He and Stephen Hunt playing host to the Canadian recruit that Charlie Wade is so happy to get that commitment from. Yeah, I think the first call Charlie made after he heard from the from Mars, the Canadian kid, he kind of called Hunt and Sador right away and said, "Hey, thanks, guys. <laughs> Whatever you did, great job you did in October. <laughs> hey, good job, eh? Is this guy? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, this guy's a real deal. Well, Charlie Wade just doing a great job of going international and back in the days when Hawaii Costas Thea Haridis, Yuval Kat, Savan Leone. And Nick West getting a little bounce in his step. And Nick West maybe not so animated tonight as we've seen him in the past. He cut back those sideburns and he cut back his action just a little bit. Well, I think I think that that uh, Friday night loss to, to San Diego was humbling for all the guys. Uh -huh. I think they're just toning it down a little and want to they want to earn the respect and earn the swag. Yeah, you're right. Oh, <laughs> Johan Timmer. Like he was chasing a mirage out there and finally found it. Costello and Biscara, two hands it over. To the near side, Hutt jams it right back down. And good play by the Pride to keep that one alive. And Nick West, great pancake dig by Ferry. 
Ferry again with the diving save. And Hunt, and it's Ferry a third time. Oh, what great play defensively by Nick Ferry. And it proves to be the difference in the point. Wow, give all the credit in the world. A pancake dig and three digs in all for the Libero Ferry. And you can see why he was voted a first team ABC All-American last year. Here's his pancake right there, giving up his body. Well, that's one of those rare points that you see in the men's game that just goes back and forth, and it was a dandy, unfortunately, for Hawaii fans, won by the opposition, and Stephen Hunt with an exclamation point of his own. They've got Nick Perry lined up right cross court deep on Stephen Hunt every time. They want their best defender, best digger, lined up on Hawaii's best attacker. Hawaii up by two, 19 serving, 17, Stephen Hunt. Standing by, he already in double figures with 11 kills on the night. Next closest on the Hawaii roster is J.P. Marks with six. And West with a good serve. Angel Perez, nice job to get that ball up by Timmer. And then off the block is J.P. Marks. Oh, what a set from Sam Bascaro. After the dig, Bascaro runs over. Calls off Stephen Hunt and just launches a high, uh, no spin set that just had hit me written all over it. So Hawaii with its biggest lead in the second set, 2017. The coach calling for a timeout as you look at Marks. Alrighty, Charlie Wade talking things over with his coaching staff as we take a look at our mid-pack petroleum leaderboard. We see the uh, Warriors obviously playing in all 18 oh, outrigger uh, invitational appearances. And uh, Nittany Lions, this is the first one they have missed. And I'm not sure why they missed, but uh, maybe it's because of all the chaos that's going on on that campus in Happy Valley. Bruins with 12. And more importantly, the Bruins with five championships here in this Outrigger Invitational. Hawaii will see them on that six. Hawaii will see them on uh, Saturday night. Six championships, excuse me, for UCLA. Brigham Young has won it a couple of times. Penn State twice. And Shanghai, China. They even won one when they were here playing an ex in an Shanghai, exhibition right. yep. match. 21-7, to 7, Hawaii finally putting a little bit of distance between them and the pride. Stephen Hunt with the jump serve. Good pass by the libero. J.P. Marks with the block. Right back at Marks. And Costello knocks it up. And West does a little table walking. Or rather, Steve Hunt, excuse me. And I think at some point you realize body more important than point. <laughs> Back to serve will be Angel Perez. Just floats it over. Pass nicely by Hunt and then Marks cross court dug up by Perez. JP Marks powers it through the block. But Marks just challenging Greg Falcone. Surprising to go that hard and that tight inside and low. It's a low set, low bump set. He just chases after it, Falcone. Just a great block. He's really good. And another timeout called by the Springfield Pride head coach, Charlie Sullivan. His team trails. 22-18. Hawaii looking to close out set two. All right. We are back at the Stan Sheriff Center. And opportunity to check out how it works. Presented by Central Pacific Bank. Well, here we take a look at J.P. Marks, the left number 15. Watch him as he goes over to help Jared Lofi and takes off to the right, and he ends up getting the block as he just sensed. He sort of read where the set was going to go and puts it straight down. That's how it works. And Crutchfield in there showing how it works to dig up a hard hit ball. A little punch over the net. Crutch unable to chase that one down and point prime. Springfield now. Back within three, Hawaii taking the first set 
25-21. If you missed it, great news from Fresno State in overtime. University Hawaii Warrior basketball team beating Fresno State 74-68. Not easy to win on the road in the WAC, I'll tell you. Especially you go to overtime and you got to pay that extra period on the road. Another joust at the net. Nice pass by Timmer. And then J.P. Marks into the block and put right back down at him. And that time, Falcone winning the duel with the net. Check that, Jimmy O'Leary with the block. Jimmy O'Leary's another big guy who goes six feet, six inches tall out of Redding, Pennsylvania. And you see the blocks, seven to four, Hawaii leading in that category. And Falcone serves it out in Hawaii within two points of taking set number two. I think Charlie Wade's got his two timeouts he's saved, so if he needs to slow down any sort of Springfield run, he can do it with timeouts. He could rather just score two natural points, though, and go to the locker room up two sets to none. Viscaro, good serve. And then hitting it through the block is Jimmy O'Leary. Solid serve by Viscaro, but an even better pass by Angel Perez right on the money, allowing the setter to put it. Mike Becker set the middle, tap it down, easy point. Back to serve is going to be Becker, and he hits it into the net. Not what you want to do when you're sending it now to set point. So Hawaii, perhaps one serve away from heading into the intermission of two sets to none. Well, they were looking for a turnaround after that last match against UCSD. They had their big fundraising banquet Sunday night at the Hawaii International Country Club. Really a good time. Actually came at a great time because after losing that match, it was a, a moment to have some fun and kind of bring everybody together, and it did. Cross-court swing and a nice job of putting that one down by Mel Pelletier, Mike Pelletier. But sometimes when you can get away from volleyball, and you know this, Chris, and you, you have an opportunity to do a team bonding event, and maybe it was just perfect that that banquet happened that night. Yeah, and a lot of generous people there donating to the program, too. Absolutely. Hawaii trying to close it out. The 24, and blocks, but out. Another point for the Pride, and they're within one. It is now 24-23, and you talked about Charlie Wade holding those timeouts. He's going to use one of them now to kind of slow things down and say, okay, guys, it's time to take care of business right here, right now. They've got Taylor Averill on the outside there. He's in there because he's a little bit bigger than, than Timmer, so it's really a, basically a blocking substitution. So when he goes in, he can't get too old like that. He's going to go out there and be in exactly the right position and, and keep his assignment, take away that line, and, and feed that attacker into the diggers. Nick Costello is a pretty good digger. He's, he's really working hard to bring his digs per set up. He's getting talked to right now by Vern Podolowski, one of the great liberos Hawaii's ever had, by the way. Went all the way to the national team, and he's given Costello a piece of his mind there on how to play this next point. This next point's really important. A lot different to go to the locker room two, up two sets to zero than split one set apiece. Absolutely. Hey, if you have any children, and you happen to be a family that loves the University of Hawaii sports, there's a special UH club just for kids. Stop by the Papa John's Pizza Store here in Hawaii and join the UH Kids Club. You'll get an official club t-shirt and a variety of other benefits when you join the UH Kids Club today. Well, Nick Costello at 5'8", and Coach Vern still has to look up to him. <laughs> Podolowski on the 2001-2002 uh, national championship team that was vacated and played for the USA national team 2003 to 2005. Went overseas, played in Romania and Germany. So he's had a, an illustrious volleyball career and could not be happier being an assistant for the University of Hawaii men's volleyball team. Great guy. Brings a lot of energy and kind of that youthful energy. So 23 serving 24, Hawaii. They don't want to have to go to extended play here. 
Hunt a chance to end it, and instead, it is Jimmy O'Leary, and interestingly enough, O'Leary has come in for Falcone, who is the team leader in blocks, and O'Leary has been a force at the net here late in the second set. Yeah, he's, he's really been good. O'Leary's just, uh, gets, he's got good feet, good presses over the net with his hands really well, reads the setter. So tied for the 11th time, this time at 24 all Hunt off the block, and this time, Pelletier not able to keep that one alive. And Hawaii with its second opportunity to close out the second set. A little bit better pass that time by Costello, which allowed Biscaro to fake out the block a little more. That time O'Leary a little late getting out there, and Hunt took advantage. Back to serve as Lofi floats it over. Not, not a, a good, good pass. Not a good pass at all. Angel Perez. Nice job in the back row by J.P. Marks. Hunt with an opportunity to end it. And the dig by Perez, who puts it into the net. That's going to be four hits. And Hawaii is going to win the second set. So the Warriors, who are swept in the last outing, looking to do a little sweeping of their own, taking the first two sets, 25-21, 26-24. It's an omission. We're going to take a little break. But we will be back with more from the Stan Sheriff Center. You're watching University of Hawaii Warrior Volleyball on OC Sports.